Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another Tootsie Tuesday. Excited to share some more spring toes with you that match this set of nails. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow, and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get on to it. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Great to see you and great to be in sharing another spring toe design. So glad to be back doing them for the spring and the summer. Always love to have pretty toes. But before we go on and show you, we're going to go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women as always. And we already read that one. So now we are on what is called, What Do You Want? Matthew 6, 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And it goes on to say, what do you want from God? His stuff, such as his blessings and prayers answered in heaven someday? Or do you want him, his presence in your life? Keep your eyes on what is important. Keep your eyes on the goal of knowing and serving Jesus. Ask him to help your faith to grow stronger. Spend time with him. Make him the core of your everyday life and do not worry about anything. Yes, that's easy to say, but not so easy to do. That's okay. Life with God is a journey. Take it one step at a time. I like that, you guys. Really, really great. Right to the point. You know, just basically, you know, that one, you know, this one really just hits you to the point with it. You know, asking what really are you wanting? Are you are you being close to God just because you want him to answer prayers? You want heaven one day? Or do you truly want God in your life? Is that what you are seeking more for? Is And that's a great one to really think about in your life. What truly is your reasoning for wanting God in your life? Is it for just knowing that he's going to answer prayers and everything for you? And you're, you know, we don't want to go to hell. So we're like, well, I want heaven and all that. Or is it really for that great personal relationship with God and just feeling good? You know, I get a great... Uh, a great feeling when I'm spending time alone with the Lord. I really love it. And I love that personal relationship. So it really is a great thing to ask yourself, am I, you know, which one am I doing? You know, which one am I really seeking? So it's really great. I like this one. It says, what do you want? And that's to the point. What do you want? Do you want all of that? Or do you just want a great relationship with God? Of course, you have a great relationship, a great relationship, great relationship with God. Talking too fast. You get all the other stuff. So let's get a great personal relationship with, you know, with Jesus. He died on the cross for us. He did so much for us. And, you know, really spend that time alone in a room, somewhere quiet, somewhere where you want that personal time with the Lord. It's important. Down below it says, but as for me, it is good to be, but as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Savior Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Psalm 73, 28. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love all these ones that I read. I just love it. It really touches the heart in a way. It really makes you think, right? Some of them really make you think. Like, what am I really wanting in life? What do I truly want? And why do I want to be so close to God? Am I just wanting heaven? What do you truly want? Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Get a great personal relationship with Jesus and open up this book and read it. This is how we're truly supposed to live our life. And everything is right here for us, written in this beautiful book. So pick it up and read it, you guys. And I hope that you guys got your salvation. If you don't have it yet, get your salvation. Get right with the Lord today because he is returning. Our life could be over at any time. We never know. And you only get that one chance while we're here on earth or when Jesus returns. That's it after that. So get right with him, you guys, and get your salvation today to know you are heaven bound. So write it down if you got it today. And I hope that I'm, you know, helping to save souls in here. I'm hope, hoping to win souls to Christ. That's what I really want to do. All right, you guys. Well, it's still, uh, we are on Saturday right now and Jaden will be here Monday. So when you see Monday's video, you're going to see that I'm talking about that. You guys will know that he is here that day. When you see yesterday's video, he would have been here, but I pre recorded all of these. So I got one more day tomorrow to get through and he will be here Monday. So when you guys see this video, I would have already got to meet him 
and we're already having a great time together. So I am just so excited. My dad is home too. I want to let you guys know. Again, I pre-record, so I wasn't able to tell you in the last video. He wasn't, but my dad is home now. But if you could keep praying, they are trying to watch that potassium level to keep it down and um, the level of his white count, um, which meant he had infection in him. Um, really trying to keep all of that down so my dad could stay home. So, But if you guys could keep your prayers for him, that would be great. But he's home. He's home. My mom's so happy. And I'm just happy to know that he is home. I know that he was so sad. He was in there over two weeks. So I'm just glad that he's home. Other than that, you guys, thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your support. And I hope you will enjoy this toe design. And as always, tomorrow you'll see the Wear It Wednesday. All right, everyone. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for this week's Tootsie Tuesday Spring Toes that matches this set of nails. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Tootsie Tuesday. Getting ready to do another set of toes that match this set of nails I did for Manny Monday. As you see, I have all the toes done in a yellow except for the big toe which is going to be the one i'm going to do this design on i always do the toes to match the hands but slightly a little bit different since they're toes so the only thing that's going to get the art will be on the big toe and i'll have the flower design and the rest will just stay yellow like that i'm going to go over and show you all the supplies so for starters the yellow i used was this one here and it's all the same supplies i used in monday's video it's the Kiss Gel, and it's called My Color. And then I used a sheer pink that I made on the big toe. It's just a clear polish. Again, I always say this. I make my own shears. This was from Dollar Tree. There's the numbers. It was just clear. And I added 30 drops of a baby pink and then shook it up, and that's how I got that sheer pink. And then I topped everything off with the Sesh Feet, Sesh Feet Dry Pass Top Coat. And then I'm going to work with acrylic paints. We've got a pink and it was called diva pink and then we've got a green i added black into it because i want the flowers or the leaves to be a little bit darker it was this one here and it's just called uh festive green and then i added black to make it more of a um like uh forest green or army green and then i've got white acrylic from dollar tree and the black and i just use that just to get a little black out and then the pink was this one here diva pink and i added a little bit of white in it since colors that are more brighter if you add white, they're more opaque. If you don't, they're really uh, transparent. So always add a little bit of white into your neons, like your neons or even soft neon colors. But that's what I'm going to be using. And then I'll be working with Robin's brush. It's RobinMosesNillArt.com. It's how you order them. And here's her brush. It's called the wand. It's just got a little bit of paint on it. There's the end of it. I'll be using that to do the flowers. I'm going to start with the leaves, then do the flowers, and then um, do the pink in the center like that. So I think that's everything. And then at the very end, I'll top everything off with the Sesh Feet again because you always want to cover your acrylic paints because otherwise they would wash right off. Plus, you want them to be nice and shiny and everything to blend. So this would be a quick video, but we're going to start with doing the um, leaves. So I'll do one and I'll return. So we've got the leaves on this one. Now we're going to go ahead and do it on that toe. And I'm just doing the particular vine type leaf like I did on the fingers. Some of them I did just the leaves. Because I had more fingers to work with. I did it on three. But here, since we're only doing one, we'll do the vine. So I'm just going to do it this time coming off here. I got a little bit of paint. And you're just going to set your brush down and very lightly just kind of sway it like just to make it look like a vine. And just go so far with it. And then we're going to put leaves on it. So I'm going to start down here. And I'm just going to go to one side to the other side and then give it a little pull. That's what makes it look like a leaf. Let me get a little closer for you guys. All right. Then we'll do another one right here, and you could do them in any spot you want. One side to the other, and a little pull. And then we'll go on the other side here. Hopefully you can see. And we're going to go ahead and put one right here. So one side to the other side, and give a little pull at the end like that. So now we've got the leaves. And then we're going to do the white for the flowers, and of course pink in the center. But we're going to go ahead and let this dry thoroughly before we go ahead and put the white on. So I'll get one done again, and I'll come back. All right, so now we've got the white flowers to have a flower garden. So I like to have like a bigger one, and then we did some small ones around there. We're going to do this one just slightly different. 
So we might have two of the bigger ones, but just have a half one. I'm going to draw in for you guys. Again, I got gloves on, so it's just sometimes hard to get this to draw in when you have gloves on. All right, so we're going to do this a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is down in here, I'm going to do like a half one. So we're just going to do a couple of petals like that. And I kind of make it look like a heart. If you see how I'm doing that, just go to one side to the other, and then you can kind of pull in the middle like that. That's how I do my uh, my type of flower that I call a fan flower. So just do that, that like that, and then you can just put a couple little dots in there. So it makes it look almost like a full one, you see? And then I got a little piece on my toe, so I'll just go across and get that off. All right, and then we're going to do another full one in here, um, just because I like them to be different. So we're going to do one. I'll do it down in here. So I'm going to do it going down, too. So I'm going to do it like this. So you're going to see it upside down. But I'm just going to get all the petals in like that. And it's four petals. And we're just going to get a full one in here and do it like that. Now, I know I did, f uh, did I do five? Nope, that was just four. It just looked like it the way I'd done it on the top there because that goes together. See, that one goes together there. All right, like that. And then we're just going to do some dots to look like the other flowers. So you just go four little dots. That's it. And the lighter the touch, the better. But you want it to look like it's supposed to represent the same flower, but just a small version of it. So just around, just putting them in. If, if they get a little bigger, that's okay. But to make them smaller, you want a really light touch. But because it's the toe, I can actually get, um, you know, a little bit of a bigger touch with these. But the lighter you touch it, the smaller the flowers. But there you go. It looks like a nice little flower garden there. So I'm going to back away now if I can with my glove on again. I hate when I wear these gloves, but it just protects my uh, my polished, you know, my polished nails I already did. So now we're going to let these dry and then we're going to add in the pink. Now we've got the pink in the center of the flowers and I'll show you how I'm doing that. The smaller ones is just a little dot, but I'll show you. Um, we'll do those first, okay? I will draw in for you guys. Again, I'm sorry, stupid glove. I'm just going to do a little dot in the center of all of these little ones. Just a small little dot just to get that pink going in it. So you just need a little dot. But make sure you kind of have your brush up, you know, straight when you do it. If you do it at an angle, it probably um, won't dot small enough for you. All right. And then the other ones, the bigger ones, we just go like this and we dot all around in there. Just dot it through all around so it just, you know, makes it, gets the pink in the center. But... You know, you're just dotting it in just all around and then it'll just put it in there. Whoops, I didn't have enough on this brush. <laughs> okay, so just go like this and just dot it in around so you get pink in the center like that. Aren't these pretty, you guys? They kind of remind me of a um, cherry blossom, but of course the cherry blossoms would be pink. I'm putting pink into the white, but they kind of look like a cherry blossom branch, you know? I think they're cute. They kind of remind me oriental, like I said, when I did the nail design. I felt like this design looked oriental to me. Now, I'm not doing an oriental look. I probably could have with the Wear It Wednesday outfit, so maybe I might make it look oriental because I haven't done a themed one in a long time for you guys for my Wear It Wednesday. I really haven't done really any themed, um, you know, outfits lately, so maybe I'll make that one look more oriental. Maybe I can. We'll see, but you guys, you'll be surprised tomorrow when you see it open up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and top coat it now. We're going to end it with the sesh feet. After everything dries, let this dry solid because you'll smudge it and you want to just glide over the top. Do a nice thick coat of it, but just glide it over the top. Don't really paint hard. Just glide it because even if it's dry, it's going to smudge your design and it'll ruin it. You'll have to take everything off. It just sucks. So just make sure you just glide over it, but let the polish dry solid, the acrylic paint. I'm going to polish all of them and I'll come back in and show you guys the end product. Alrighty, we are all done and the toes turned out so adorable. I really love this set. I loved how the nails turned out and now I love the toes. They're just really, really just pretty and girly and perfect for spring. I love the flower garden. I love the look of just having that on a few nails and then of course on just the big toe. And then of course yellow is so spring-like. I really love the way it turned out. I hope you guys do as well. Again, it gives me an oriental feel. And so when I do the Wear It Wednesday, I wasn't planning to do an oriental look, but I possibly could with the look I'm doing. So maybe it'll be that way tomorrow, maybe not. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Definitely have fun with art. Give this look a try. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.